Hmm, what is this guy? Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Today we will be looking at this guy, Zhiyun Crane 2 Gimbal. You may heard people say it is called Jiayong, Jiayun, whatever, but trust me, it is pronounced as Zhiyun. It's Chinese, it means smart clouds in Chinese. So today in this video, we will be looking at this gimbal. This gimbal comes with a little tripod at the bottom. Uh, you can remove it if you don't need it, but I found it is useful. I can hold it like this or I can use this tripod to put on the ground or on the table. The gimbal is powered by three batteries uh, and according to the specs, those batteries can last about 18 hours of use. And the batteries come within the package and also you have a charger to charge those batteries. When you hold this gimbal in your hand, the first thing you will notice is the weight because it is a heavy duty gimbal. It can hold up to seven pound, which means you can put a full frame DSLR on this gimbal. This gimbal has three modes. The first mode is called pan follow. So basically if you pan from right to left or from left to right, it's going to follow your pan. But if you go up, or if you go down, it's not going to follow that direction. It's only, it's only to go from left to right or right to left. The second mode is called lock. So it will lock into that direction. No matter if you pan or if you go up or go down, it's not going to change that direction because it's locked in. The third mode is called follow. So basically it will follow all directions. If you go left, it goes left. If you go right, it goes right. If you go up, it goes up. If you go down, it goes down. It will follow you, follow all the directions. Now, if you press the mode button three times, it will turn 180 degree to face yourself. And it's kind of like the selfie mode. And if you press the mode three times again, it switch back. This gimbal also has some other features. For example, this knob here, it's follow focus. And you can adjust this knob to control the focus on your subject, to track your subject, but that only supports Canon cameras for now. Also, it has some other features like you might be able to control aperture, uh, ISO, shutter speed via the gimbal itself, but that supports Canon cameras, Sony cameras, and the Panasonic cameras. At least they provide cables for Canon, Sony, and the Panasonic. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those camera bodies. I have Nikon and I have Fujifilm. So unfortunately, I can't test these features. Speaking of Nikon, this is my Nikon D750 full frame camera body and a Sigma 24-70 f2.8 full frame lens. As you can see, you can put this camera body in the lens on this gimbal. Now let's check out some test footage of this gimbal.
Now let's talk about who this gimbal is designed for. To me, I think this gimbal is designed for those serious videographers. Considering its size and weight and the low capacity, it is for those people who like to shoot footage with their DSLR system or large camera system. The gimbal can help you get very stable, smooth, Footage. And also the gimbal provides additional features if you use those supported cameras. Overall, if you are already shooting videos with large camera systems with your DSLRs, then I think this gimbal will work very well for you. But if you are someone like me who is mostly a photographer and I sometimes make YouTube videos, or you are a vlogger looking for a gimbal to help you make vlogs, you may want to consider twice before purchasing this gimbal. Again, considering its size, weight, and low capacity. The gimbal itself is probably heavier than my tripod, and you have a camera and a camera lens, so if you want to hold the gimbal one hand, your arm is going to get tired very quickly. Also keep in mind, if you want to use a gimbal, you need to balance the weight before using it. If you just want to change a camera, change a lens, and then start shooting, then gimbal may not be the best option for you because every time after you change camera or change lens, you need to rebalance the weight. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and leave a comment below. Let me know if you would like to use a gimbal like this. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more photography tips and tutorials and gear reviews just like this one. I hope to see you next time. Bye.